lying, stealing, thievery, and bamboozling. That's right, today we are checking out Incognito Mode's video called The Swedish Job. I know nothing about this going into it, but how this channel works is I do whatever you guys say in the recommended. So in the comments below, let me know what video you want me to check out next, but not using links because links are cringe. Uh, and also games, because I also do games right now. I'm currently playing Elden Ring because of the recommendation. How do I get rid of the shield? <laughs> roll up, pushy. Roll up, pushy. What are you gonna do? <laughs> they call me Happy Feet. <laughs> Look at these sides. <laughs> so I hope you stick around. On top of all that, the channel's brand new. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button and stick around because I am here to have a good time, not for a long time. <laughs> oh God, I hear. I hope I hear you for a long time. Why is that saying? Is that saying because people die? Oh no, it's because they leave the room probably, right? Wow, that's a horrifying realization if it was that morbid, like, oh, we all go die sometime. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> the dramatized, the following is a true story. Oh, I love true stories. Documentaries are lit in general, so that's exciting. Stockholm, December 22nd, 2000. Gentlemen, oh? the Swedish National Museum. 90,000 square feet of priceless artwork. Only two roads in and out. The police will be ready. Walking away with the goods won't be easy. Smash oh. and grab job, huh? Not quite. First things first. A I'm watching a robbery video? They're doing a heist? Is this GTA? What's happening? <laughs> but in Sweden? At exactly 4.55 p.m., five minutes before the museum closes, okay. we blow up two cars. Oh my god! Inside the Grand Hotel and the Strand. Naturally, fire trucks and- Oh, that's actually so smart. That's like some movie shit. Where you, like, make a distraction so all, like, the on-call people go to two separate areas far away from the location you're trying to steal from. Police will be Ooh, dispatched. they stealing! What about the guards in the building? Only one. And he'll be busy ushering everyone to leave. Now, we get ourselves Only one guard in the entire approach. museum? Meanwhile, two of us are already inside waiting for the signal. Once you hear those explosions, put on your balaclavas and take out guns. Get down! They you back up! Get ah! on the floor! <laughs> Don't move! So the standard disarm the guards and get everyone on the floor. That's right. Then one of you stay in the lobby while the other two make your way upstairs and into the gallery. Now remember... I, my brain is like processing. I'm, I thought this was like a skit for a second, but at the beginning it literally said that this is like real events that are just like embellished for like dramatization, but the actual events themselves did occur. Uh, God damn. Gentlemen, <laughs> no browsing. We're here for three paintings in particular. Conversation with the gardener and Young Parisian by Renoir, and mm. Self-Portrait by Rembrandt. So how do we crack the safe? There is no safe. No security cameras or alarms either. Wire cutters are all we need. <laughs> I'm sorry, are they serious? There's like no security. There's only one security guard even on staff. Why is nothing protecting their art? If it's worth so much. Why is... Is there just like a Swedish trust system we got going on? Damn! Amateurs. We bag the goods and bust out the front door. <laughs> and we're just supposed to walk out of there with the three paintings and not get stopped? Yep. Won't take the police long to catch up. That's what I'm counting on. A little what? surprise I prepared earlier. Okay, this plan seems so convoluted. What? <laughs> like... So the plan is, is to steal the paintings, mind you, thinking that they have like minimal security to the point where you only need wire cutters. You take the paintings out, the police will come after you, but it's intended, and then you pop they tires, okay. And from there it's an easy walk to the docks where we've got a boat ready. Mm. Isn't there like water police? What's their names? Oh, they got like a special name? Aw, oh, damn. The water po po. Water brigade. Mariana's trench. 
<laughs> Skip around uh, the waterfront Frank. and down the labyrinthine canals of Stockholm and make a beeline for Marshalls? Maylar Lake. Then we dock in a quiet oh. area and make it on foot back to the road. Let me guess, you already have a car waiting. Of course. Mm. Mm. We drive back to the city, get back to HQ, paintings in hand. I'm so and congratulations, boys. We've just robbed the Swedish National Museum for an I hope to God every single thing in this goes wrong. Because I want it to be the biggest shit show known to man. Because this is the the underestimating of every single aspect that they're doing is mind blowing to me. They're treating it like they're actually making a heist in a video game. Right? Like it's alarming. It's like they oh god. An estimated thirty million dollars. Oh yeah, it's a clean thirty mil, you know. A little quickie. And that's exactly how all of it played out. The next day. It, w I thought they were going to walk us through it happening. And that it didn't, like, it failed or that things went wrong. It just, they just did it. They just did it. That's the biggest plot twist there is. What? The police had cleaned up the torched cars and they were questioning staff getting any clues they could about the suspects. Press X they didn't have any faces. They didn't have any DNA evidence. It was a professional job, and there was very little to go on. Wow. Until someone came forward. Oh, who snitched? A witness, an old man. <laughs> I, I- Ah. <laughs> Our one true weakness, age. What? Well, sorry, was there like an old man chilling and watching them put the mask on? I was working on the river when I saw three lads speed off out of the area in an orange boat. Did you get a good look at him? I, you know, but they seemed suspicious, so I followed him. Followed him right <laughs> through the canals into the- I'm sorry, this little old man- was playing like spy and followed the three robbers and that's how they get caught you know what w old man he said listen this is my sims game <laughs> get me in there he's the protagonist we're all side characters <laughs> to the shore where they parked their vessel and abandoned it abandoned it it's <laughs> very sweet can you show us where on the map I... So the police sent out a couple of cars and found the boat. Here it is. Nothing inside. No paintings, detective. Damn. What about the registration? Nothing, sir. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is put out a picture of the boat and ask the public for help. Ooh, more so stitches! So they published pictures of the boat in the local newspaper Ooh. and asked people to come forward with information. The next day. That's my cousin Leonard, okay? He's a little bougie with his orange. I told him to take violet, but nah, he had to be out here being a highlighter. Like, bruh, why you gotta be that extra? Just get a gondola like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, it's my boat. The boat owner paid the police a visit. I'm Pa Lundmark, and that's my boat. What happened? We'll ask the questions. What? Well, I just sold the thing last week. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you come in there and you're like, yo, what's up? Uh, that's my boat. And they're like, hey, 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 that's your boat? I right, pull up, pussy. Like, dude, he's coming in to give information clearly. Like, that'd be so strange. Ooh, sometimes criminals, more like in murder cases, they like go and like try to be uh, try to make a testimony or like try to be like a, a witness. So that way they can try to clear themselves by being a witness, you know? Like, Three get like, more information about what's happening. So maybe that's why, like, uh, investigators would be a little sus of him. Who looked a bit suspect. Did oh. you get their names? Afraid not, sorry. Although, when I sold the boat to them, they asked if they could use my trailer to transport it. And? Well, I said yes, but only if they gave me their phone number for safety. <gasps> well, you have, have their you phone number! Yep, here it is. I wrote it on the back of the receipt. And this is where everything unraveled for the thieves. My thief, exactly. Because despite all of this Ocean's Eleven style bullshit, 
They had used their real phone number. Holy shit! They overthought everything in this plan to the point where I was like, you look, like, you look so crazy you're playing a video game. Just for them to give their real phone number, not a burner phone? Bro, you're gonna make 30 million. Why do we not have burner phones already? So police looked up the number and everyone they had called. We've got a match. The number was connected to a gang of petty thieves. Ooh. They were not big time criminals. They had done small stuff like car thefts, drug peddling, and so on. They were not criminal masterminds. So who made this the plan then? This of evidence led to two men serving sentences in a minimum security prison 10 miles from Stockholm. A Russian named Alexander Petrov and a Swedish national named Stefan Nordstrom. Okay. But wait, these men were behind bars. They have an airtight alibi. So that doesn't make sense. Right? Well, turns out they are considered low-risk prisoners which means they are allowed weekend furloughs. Essentially. Huh? Oh, sorry. A prison furlough is when prisoners are allowed to leave prison and the return furloughs can be escorted or un unescorted. So they can just dip out on weekends? So they treat prison like a nine to five? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're just doing jail as a day job. I just said the same thing. I just said the same thing. I I like him. He gets me. And while good boy Petrov had returned from his weekend away, Nordstrom had not. So police went to work searching Nordstrom's empty cell. Aha. Lo and behold, Nordstrom had been doing a bit of light reading. Collections of newspaper clippings from past art heists. Bro. Bro, that's my face. I just <laughs> like uh, I'm an art thief. I want to steal the news crazy heist. Let me leave newspaper clippings of other previous art heists. Yes, to inspire. Like what the fuck? Very subtle. We left a paper On trail. Top of that. Nordstrom had reportedly been visiting a bunch of auction houses in the area. They were clearly the painting bandits. Uh oh. Now, here's the thing about art theory it's a oh? difficult game. Unlike jewelry or other valuable goods, you can't just offload these anywhere. You need a buyer who has a lot of cash and That's is willing true. to take a huge risk themselves. Possession of stolen property is a crime, and they wouldn't be allowed to keep the paintings if word ever got out. They wouldn't be so compensated, they'd just lose their money. They had $30 million in unsellable goods. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. They robbed the freaking museum without having a buyer set up? That's like the one thing you see in heist movies. You all, We already have a buyer. Yeah, now the job is ours. Blah, blah, blah. So let's get the coordinates. Like... It's always like we got a buyer lined up. That's like a common thing. Oh my god. Then again, it's the 2000s. How many heist movies did we have at the time? Not enough to inform them. <laughs> god damn. So, what do we do? Oh, we could sell it to a billionaire in China. <laughs> oh no. Not the Seinfeld vibe. <laughs> okay, do you know any? No. Yeah, oh. I thought so. So shut the fuck up and think of something better. Whoa. Why don't we just ransom it back to the museum? That's not the worst idea in the what? world. What? <laughs> They're gonna put them back? December 28th, 2000. Six days after the robbery. Petrov's lawyer approaches the police station. Hello. Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. I am here on behalf of my client and acting as an intermediary. We have your painting. Oh. Go on. I am here to negotiate it safely to your return for a modest sum. What? Uh -huh. Interesting. What? Like, 
you give them the paintings being like, I mean, technically they could be like, oh, if you want a collection reward for us giving you the paintings, we're not the ones who stole it. We just happen to have it. But we would like a reward for returning it. Maybe? But otherwise, even then it's kind of stupid. Intact. This is, of course, completely and illegal. The dog and Lawyers the boys. Can't just negotiate <laughs> ransoms for their clients. Yeah. Got any proof you have the paintings? Right here. The attorney then revealed hostage style photos of the stolen art, complete with that day's newspaper. Right. So, who are these clients of yours? Can't say. Lawyer client confidentiality and all that. Unless you're being a part of, of what the. F Unless you're incriminating yourself too, buddy boy. What? This is right. insane. Well, let me just have a chat with my supervisor. The police feigned interest, but there was no way they were going to pay a ransom when they could simply catch the guys. Yeah. So instead, they stalled and placed a surveillance team on Petrov for the next time he met with his attorney. A couple okay. of days later, that meeting took place. And surprise, surprise, they're not alone. Well, Nordstrom had turned up. Oh, well. hell no. The other two? Wait for it. One more. The one more. Come See on. See you soon. Take care. Boochies. Now, now, now. Go, go, go. The police moved in on Nordstrom. What the? No, I'm innocent. Save it for nope. the judge. <laughs> ah, what do we have here? Those aren't my <laughs> Burglar King goes so hard. <laughs> In a moment of sheer genius, Nordstrom had decided to bring with him a bag filled with Polaroids of the stolen paintings. Is this how you get your kicks? Oh, that'd be sick. Get these to the lab. Later, the lab Oh my god, this is like it's like a really incredibly done heist. By fucking idiots. Like, it's so bizarre. <laughs> like, how do you make such a beautiful, elaborate heist that was successful? And then be complacent about so many small things in prep? Oh! Leaving articles in your jail cell? Giving someone your real phone or not getting a burner phone? Like, what? Found Petrov's <sighs> fingerprints all over the Polaroid. Not having a buyer evidence, lined up? They obtained a warrant to raid a cellar that the gang frequented. Look everywhere. Okay. They may have left the subtle list of clues. I'm looking. Anything that can even give us a scrap of. Detective, here's a date book literally showing all of the details of the heist. In they didn't even burn their plans, they left it? I. I can't. The level of dumb. I can't. How? How? How does this? Ha I, dude. Just ah. Why is there a paper trail? Okay. My one advice, if I can give you some damn advice in life, okay, is don't leave a paper trail. Okay. That even applies to sketchy ass conversations. You gotta you gotta talk you talk, talk to your drug dealer. Not saying I promote drug use, but if you do. What do you do? You call them. You don't text them. Texting is a paper trail. You know what I'm saying? No one knows what you're saying in a phone call. Oh, oh, you wanna, you wanna like, you know, talk shit about somebody? Don't text it to your friend. Call them. What they gonna do? Record you? Make the phone call sudden. You know? You gotta be sneaky. You gotta be smarter. And that's just for petty bullshit. And, and if you're doing a $30 million heist, best believe I ain't leaving a paper trail. Everything goes, bro. Oh my god. I'm that paranoid in real life, let alone if I took 30 million. Including all of the co-conspirators. Nice work, detective. Thanks, detective. Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, is it? It's time for a montage. Oh, montage. Hey, we suited up for real. Oh, damn. Easy. Isn't that an insanely short amount of time? I know that, like, they didn't say anyone died or anything, right? But that was kind of like an act of you know, terrorism. You know what I'm saying? Blow it, making car bombs? Blowing them up in front of two different buildings? People could have died. Right? Threat to the public? How do we... How is it so little? And three more men. Oh. We got the bad guys. But yeah. there was a problem. 
What? They hadn't recovered any of the paintings. They had searched the cellar top to bottom. The homes of the criminal. Oh, it's okay. Shawty, I got you. I can do some real good finger paintings. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got you. Ready? E he he he. All right. This little stroke here. Little S. Okay. Little strokes here. Massage the painting. Massage the painting. All right. I call this one a uh, pussy licker. I don't know what else to call it. I don't they know. I think of a name. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what that was the first thing that came to my head. I'm so... Uh, don't just... I haven't slept yet. All right. It's 5 a.m. 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. Leave me be. I'm trying. I don't know. And no one was giving up the goods. The goods. Damn, they ain't stitching now. Not surprising. They don't even have a buyer for these shits, though. Oh, damn. What is it, honey? <laughs> is it the paint? Even the touch of the, the painting, to, I mean, the, the, the wedding picture to me, magic too. It's so good. It's so good. Jinx again. I just can't stop thinking about it. They're out there somewhere. Yeah. Just come back to bed. No. His legs are smooth as hell. I think I'll go for a walk. Damn. He definitely whacks him. Self portrait me. <laughs> Couldn't sleep either. No time. Ooh. Rumors are circulating that Renoir's The Conversation is going up for sale. Count me in, detective. I just have to get suited up. You're going to need something a little less official. We're going oh? undercover. Oh! Oh, we going crazy, Jal Frazy. Okay. Add time. Time. Okay, quick hypothetical. Let's say you were single, and I also happened to be single, and we were browsing the web together, right? And then you said, oh, let You better put protection on, shoddy. <laughs> you trying to get into my, <laughs> my unprotected internet access? Oh, hell no. <laughs> let's, let's go on this website. Would you let me use NordVPN? <laughs> okay, no, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't mean, no, I'm not being serious. Although... Oh. Okay, you're drowning, <laughs> right? And I rescue you, and you don't have a boyfriend. And oh, I'm like, <laughs> oh no, I have to give you mouth to mouth, or you'll die, right? You'll die. Okay. And I don't know how. And I want to Google it, but I'm worried about my data falling into the wrong hands. <laughs> Could I use NordVPN then for? Okay, for Roots. Okay, I don't know for Roots case. It's saving my life. I just. 70% uh. off. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, we're in the Amazon forest. Okay. And we're like walking together. But not, not too close, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And a snake bites you. Oh my god. And we're both uh, single. And I have to suck out the poison. But then I remember watching this documentary, right? And it was on like snake bites and stuff. And I'm going to watch it again and I'm going to save your life. Oh my god, it's region locked. Would you mind if I slipped in a little Nord VPN? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> All I can think about is there's this one dude who back in the day, like I'm currently I'm currently engaged, but like back back in my, my, my younger days, who like was like a little bit on the nerdier side. And like he kind of asked in the same way where he's like, Can I enter you? <laughs> and I I will never forget that. <laughs> Not because it's so suave, but I'm like, I have never cringed that hard in my life to the point where I was like, I no longer am interested. <laughs> and normally I like laugh and it's goofy or whatever, but the serious Tony took just like, it killed every ounce of what I could have been turned on by. <laughs> Not even for 70% off? No, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing. 
Could you imagine though if I use NordVPN right now, like for real? No, no I'm not. Oh. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm not. I'm not. It's it's, it's dumb. But like, but like, no one's around. If I and was we're both to single. use NordVPN, no one would know. No way. Where are you going? <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, wait. This is the creepiest, most amazing parody. For a NordVPN commercial. lets you use six devices on one account. You can use one of mine. Your boyfriend won't know. Like, like, watch this. I just typed so in nordvpn.com slash incognito and I get 70% off a three-year plan and it's done. Where are you going? I can treat you better and keep your data safe with NordVPN. What the fuck? Oh my god. Wouldn't have happened if you got NordVPN. Holy shit! <laughs> That's... <laughs> That wasn't even the car that blew up, that was her body, right? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> ad over. Good ad, good ad break. <laughs> Deep undercover. Swedish police set up an undercover agent to infiltrate the ring and to buy the Renoir. The detective would be posing as a representative for an interested buyer nice. who was standing by. But they'd need confirmation that the painting was the real deal. Okay. That's him. Art thief? Yes! Are you the buyer? That's me. Oh. I represent a very wealthy and very interested client. Okay. But of course, before we can start negotiating, okay. I need to know that we're talking about the real deal. The real right, deal. Mate. Come with me. The undercover agent followed one of the men into the bathroom. Okay. What do you think? That's... that's quite... <gasps> that's... Quite interesting. I uh need Vort <laughs> I need NordVPN to help protect us in this situation. <laughs> Hold on, let me slip it in. <laughs> Something. Come on! My client May will I be very pleased. You? Okay, okay, okay. What do you say to 200 k <laughs> That sounds two hundred k in fact it's quite low. At least our schools. I love like that TikTok kills me every time. We want like the puffer fish or those like like nest up dogs with like the teeth going outwards. And it's like at least our schools aren't shooting ranges. And I'm like, holy shit, this is so aggressive for me. I don't really use TikTok, but people send me a lot of TikToks. Or a Twitter feed. Rich bio. Oh, um, a Twitter feed. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Alicia X Life VT, as in VTuber on Twitter. I po I post too often, including pictures of my dog. Probably would have paid a lot more even. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! Yes. Hey, dead end. They both washed their okay. hands and exited the cafe. Nice. Seconds later, police came screeching around the corner, sirens blazing. Sorry, fellas. It was me the whole time. Get punked! <gasps> oh? Oh, right. We've oh. never met before. Well, book em, boys. <laughs> you fucking mug! Fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take you down to Chinatown! They had done it. Chinatown? <laughs> Partially. They had retrieved one of the three paintings. Wow, that's nice. And they had a bunch of new leads. The cops rounded up even more members of the gang. Ooh. Among them, Alexander Sasha Lindgren and an Iraqi, Baha Kadum, as well as three of his brothers. Okay. Now, remember these lads, we'll be coming back to them. But even though they rounded shitty. up all these guys, only one man would have charges against him that would stick. The rest walked. And there were still two wow. pieces of art out there. Man! How do we even get the other two? The LA job? How are Los we? Angeles. How are we in LA now? What? Were we in Sweden? Four Did we sell and it to there? Years later, downtown LA. The FBI are working on a routine case. It's a drug bust with some Bulgarians. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Okay. Until they heard something unusual. Yeah. So we've got Renoir's young Parisian for sale. Is that code for something? Are they human trafficking? Chief, I believe it's that painting that was stolen from the Swedish National Museum a few years back. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think got beats on. Get out of the city. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be on the move soon. No one's going to take our credit. We're the FBI, damn it. Infallible. Pillars <laughs> of competence. So they ramped up surveillance. 
the Bureau intercepted a call from one of the gang's higher-ups. Boris Kostov. It's time well, for a good old-fashioned stakeout. The FBI waited outside Kostov's home until they saw him load up a small painting-sized package into his car's Dude, trunk. are they going to the second painting yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, I told him to be careful. In be LA? Rips. We're going in. Get down, get down, get the fuck down. <laughs> it's just his child's finger painting. Oh, awkward. We're so sorry, sir. The FBI swarmed. Kostov surrendered. We've got it, Captain. Ha <laughs> the big prize. FBI wins again. So they opened the bag and found... Dry cleaning. Yes, really. Oh, hell no! Shit. Rest them anyway, boys. So they pulled Kostov. <laughs> the true American way. I mean, you can keep them detained for like, what, 24 hours? 48? Something like that? Oh, in America? Okay, I'll be good cop, and you also be the good cop, because people like it when you're nice. Good Aww. thinking, Captain. I like it when he's nice Look, to you, good boy. Thing. You surprised us with the laundry. Those whites. Very white, by the way. I'd like to know who you use. But the thing is, <laughs> we've been tailing you for months, and we know about the drugs. The drugs? And that's the bigger deal, anyway. Oh, yeah? You got any evidence? Yeah, all of this. The overwhelming amount of evidence means Kostov is definitely going to be found guilty. And that means possibly 30 years in prison. Oh, but he gets a deal? At his age, this is effectively a life sentence. In a corner, Kostov broke. Yeah, all, all right. All right, I know where your paintings are. I want oh. a deal. Kostov agreed to assist the police. Good choice. Now take us to the paintings. Okay. Kostov led the police to a local pawn shop down here. As they entered the basement, Kostov pointed to an art folio leaning against the wall, wrapped in towels and a grocery bag. Do they know how much this painting is worth? To just wrap it up in towels in a grocery bag? Did this pawn shop realize what they had? Did this guy even realize what he had? Perhaps they unraveled it, and surely enough, it was the young Parisian. And in good condition, too. Bingo. Two out of three. Shit. The only one remaining was the Rembrandt. However, with Kostov as an asset, mm. authorities now had a way to find it. Uh. <laughs> Give me the other painting, Kostov. Oh, I don't. Schmack. Schmack. But I. Schmack. Yeah, okay. I got contacts in. Sw Wait, no, that one was correct. Say that. <laughs> I know people in Sweden. <laughs> His comedic timing is too freaking good. I love, like, I would say Internet Historian. Do I call him incognito mode on this one? Is this his other channel? know where it is so it's not here in la oh it's back in stockholm you oh. sly bastards but how do we know you're telling the truth sorry it's a oh. reflex <laughs> that's okay because that's yes. okay <laughs> because yeah. because the person who has it <gasps> yes is is my own son alexander sasha lindgren you snitched on your own son? Oh, that's... That's cold as hell, man. That's why he has number one dad on his hat. Holy shit. I couldn't even imagine doing that. Oh. My. God. I know, right? Kostov was willing to incriminate his own son to avoid jail time. That's crazy! Anyway, back to Sweden. He said, fuck them kids! In Stockholm, the son, Lindgren, was being pressured by his associates, Baha and Dea Kadhan. Those are the guys from before, by the way. Okay. To sell off the Rembrandt. It's been almost five years, dude. Are you going to sell this thing or not? Well, I do enjoy looking at it, but I suppose you're right. The FBI yeah. makes a call. Sweden, my man, I got a tip for you. I can't understand you. No, speak, speak English. Put someone on the line. Speak American. Hey, I'm from LA. Speak American. Oh my god. You got a time as a president in my life. <laughs> Who does? Okay, thanks. Hello? English? Hello? Okay, cool. We have a tip for you. The FBI tells Swedish authorities to put surveillance on Lindgren and the Cadhums. Lindgren, unaware that his father had betrayed him, would be caught up in the sting. In the sting! The stage was set. But if they were going to pull this off, they would need to call in their top dog. Part scholar, part daredevil. All right, I have no idea why he's written this way in all the articles, but we're going to go with it. The king of the sting. Scholar 
story, a Daredevil. Of Dali, the guardian of Goya, half scholar, half Daredevil, and 100% man. With an alignment of chaotic good, he'll teach you about the classics, then he'll teach you to make love. Robert K. Whitten. Sorry, when this at the end there, I was too busy even jamming. <laughs> And he'll teach you to make love. Robert oh. K. Whitman. Oh, I can't Whitman. <laughs> I missed the love making part, but okay, y'all got that. Hey, make sure you use NordVPN in Hot there. Five. Hey, protection. Copenhagen. Slip it in. September 15th, 2005. Oh. The meeting had been arranged. The Cadham brothers are on a train from Stockholm, secretly Ooh. followed by police the whole way. And as they sit in their seats, in the hand of one of the brothers is held a small painting sized Oh parcel. my god. Police could have arrested them then and there. <laughs> well, we don't want another laundry fiasco, all right? <laughs> yeah, let's arrest them. Oh no, it's laundry again! <laughs> they would have had the brothers red handed, but that wouldn't be enough. It would be a simple possession of stolen goods charge, and the police wanted to catch them in the act of selling the painting. So they stood by. Kostov and Whitman arrived at the Skandik Hotel. The Cadams and Lindgren made their way too. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. They said in Swedish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you guys want to do the deal now or grab lunch first? No, let's just get this over with. Okay, come with me. I would love to come grab on, some son. lunch first. Come let's on. Let's throw the old football around. What that? Come on, son. Look, Dad, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to jail, Dad. You, boy. Oh, <laughs> Whitman led Cadham up to his room. The room had been thoroughly bugged in preparation. I hope you like Swedish Corona. Mmm, nice. Oh. I'm gonna have to count it, though. No problem. Whitman knew he had it. He could see the look in Cadham's eyes as he greedily counted. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like. It's it's six thirty AM now while I'm recording this. And my brain goes, Why are we buying it with beer? And I forgot that this currency was crone. Thank god thank god. Thank god he put it on the screen. Because otherwise I would have been like, they boozing it up for real? What's going on here? I don't know. So uh you guys have like a good trip out? Mm-hmm. See any uh, good movies lately? A lot of awkward small talk. You know, there's a delightful restaurant down. It's very hard to count when you keep talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, and that's two hundred thousand. Amazing. Five years of holding on to this painting, seeing all of his buddies go to jail for two hundred grand. It would all be worth it. Can I be honest? If you put, if you stole thirty million dollar patents, and you only got two hundred grand for it, mind you, it's been some years since you stole it and whatever. But like, damn, throwing your life away for two hundred grand? Like two hundred grand's a life changing amount of money. Like, don't get me wrong. But you're like, also, that's a, it's thrown away a lot of years. And it would be over. Well, we got a deal. Baha then stood up and left the room with the cash. Hey, wait. Baha went back down the lobby and was making his way to the exit. Did he give wait, the, did he give the painting? Baha walked right out the front door of the hotel what? without saying much of anything. What the hell's going on? Has the deal soured? Has our cover been blown? Is this a cross? Did they give him the painting? Why does he sell the painting there? Was starting to get nervous. They took the, the money? Whitman was staying cool. Seconds pass. Just hold steady. What Minutes is it? Passed. Is there ink packs in the, in the... He counted it. Away. There's no ink packs. Stay cool. What do you... What? And then... They came back. With a different bag in hand. It turns out the bag they had before was a decoy. They were using it to see if any cops would be drawn out. Now that the deal seems solid, they brought the real thing. Oh, shit! Got it. Cadham returns to... Dude! Dude, they played that so well. I would have I would have been duped if I was one of those cops. 
I would have been duped. I would have been like, oh, the deal went through. Let's get it then. But, oh, he was taking the package. That's why he was taking the package away because it was the, oh. And he's getting the real one. To the room. That's sick. And Whitman examines the painting. That's the real deal. Hmm. Danish SWAT is standing by and ready to swoop. Whitman spoke the code words necessary to launch their raid on the room. Oh. Would you like an orange? Uh, excuse me? My favorite color is orange. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, orange, you Oh no, it. they're I playing raid. Orange. Uh, anyway, thanks for the money, but Stop uh, playing raid, Channel Legends. No, wait. Let me arrange you a cab. That's okay, we'll walk. <laughs> I'm sorry, arrange you a cab is so funny. <laughs> That's so good. It's such a good stretch. Arrange you a cab. That's okay. We'll walk. Oh, damn. The SWAT team burst into the room as Whitman jumped into the bathroom, clutching the painting to his chest. The SWAT team quickly overwhelmed the stupefied suspects. Uh, oh, Lucas they kept him. Cardham, his brother, Dia, and the betrayed Lindgren went off without a hitch. Without a hitch. Whitman emerged from the bathroom victorious. Women swooned. Men swooned. <laughs> I'm swooning. I'm Jesus, swooning. what a man. <laughs> Looks like you're caught by the police. <gasps> yes, well done, Whitman. And we would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for your sly doggery. Thank you. Now, <laughs> take him away, boys. Whitman Why? held the painting aloft. It was now safe. He returned it to the Swedish National Museum. Wow, all three are and back the now. was perfect. Because in just a few days, they would be exhibiting a show on Rembrandt anyway. And they not only had him back, but a story to go along with. Oh man, the painting that was, was super successful. As this time behind glass. And with a specially assigned security guard standing by its side. So the Cadham brothers and Alexander Lindgren were convicted of receiving stolen goods. However, their sentences were overturned by a Swedish appeals court ruling that they had been provoked into the crime. Well done. But... As for our hero, oh, so they made it out. Wow. Well, does it always feel like this this legal system is really lenient? Like really lenient? Whitman hung up his cape, and nothing has ever been stolen again. The end. Yay! No more thieving. Wow. <laughs> That was that was a fun ass video. It just felt like I was going for like a nice little oh like a nice little like story roller coaster. That was something I never would have thought about or never have even known about at all. What a bizarre topic. But like, what compels somebody to even check that out in the first place? Uh, I I, uh, I uh, my brain is like, how did how did he even gain interest enough? Or even discover, I, because I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about the Costa Concordia video that we saw on like his internet historian channel. Like, like I understand that he made like the No Man's Sky gaming one because he bought the game, sure. But like, these feel so out of place or random. But they're so good and so well done, and the comedic timing is gorgeous. I love it. But I just, how does he choose the topics? How does he get here? How does he know so much? I mean, he does a lot of research, clearly. Like, it shows that, like, at the bottom of the screen, all, like, the sources and stuff. But, like, god damn! God damn! <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And thanks for all your love and support. Make sure to recommend me more videos. Don't post links. Look to cringe. But I look forward to seeing what games and videos you want me to check out next. Alright, catch you guys later. Bye!